Welcome to Santiago, a city of poets, protests, and politicians mixed all together. Here, in front of us, we have today some kind of protest around the education, the public education system. These are teachers of the public education system here protesting against I don't know exactly what they're protesting against but they're saying up there on the banner los compromisos se deben cumplir which means the promises should be kept obviously protesting against some kind of politician who's not keeping up with election protests so the concert is over and it seems like the protest is over for today. Isn't that wonderful though? Having whatever you think about the motives of the protest that they have this band here playing. Del tema de las protestas es algo de fortalecimiento de educación, pero exactamente qué? La población chilena tiene un grado de discapacidad. Ninguno de nosotros estamos libres de tener discapacidad. ¿Cómo qué? Una deuda histórica. Deuda histórica. Es una deuda que quedó de un resabio que quedó del tiempo de la dictadura militar. Que nunca la pagaron y los gobiernos la concertación tampoco. El derecho propio de importar un vehículo de una franca. Y este gobierno que se había comprometido a pagar. ¿Sabes qué este gobierno? El día 31 de marzo se lo quitó. Porque la derecha manda en este país. Ah, ok. Ha muerto 20.000 profesores y no se le ha pagado esa deuda. Ajá. En el transcurso. Por edad simplemente se han muerto. Cual vivimos ahora, en donde estamos los, digamos, los trabajadores tan tremendamente postergados. Claro. Por la poca calidad de sueldo. Ajá. Y el alto costo de vida. No, es muy caro. Porque Chile es bastante caro es relativo caro a otros países de, de Sudamérica. Y acá los, los empresarios, los políticos de derecha, hablan de Argentina, que Argentina está más, pero en Argentina Ajá. por lo menos con el sueldo que ellos tienen, ellos pueden comer y comen eh. bien. Sí. Yo he estado en Argentina, es baratísima lo que es comida. Claro. El transporte vale 110 pesos chilenos, aquí vale 8 veces más que allá. Ajá. ¿Qué es un sueldo promedio en Chile? Eh, ahora son como 420 mil pesos. ¿Qué es en dólar? ¿Cuánto? Eh, ¿500 dólares? ¿500 más dólares? Menos, algo así. Y tantos dólares. Aquí un alquiler es mucho más. Simplemente todo eso. Una casi, pieza, ¿no? una pieza eh, te sale como 220 dólares. Más que la mitad, casi, claro, de, entonces, de tu si, sueldo. Si tú soy solo, Ajá. tenés que pagar una pieza. Ajá. Después tenés que pagar el gas. Que es claro. Caro. La comida, el transporte, la ropa. Ajá. Y si tenés familia, no te alcanza. Entonces, todo esto repercute en qué? En las familias más humildes del país. En donde Ajá. los cabros que son marginales, uh -huh. ven que al papá no le alcanza. Ah, ok. Y ellos quieren tener plata rápida. ¿Qué, qué es lo que hacen? Sí. Salen a traficar, salen de droga, salen a robar, salen a hacer portonazos. Y ellos, los, los cabros de 14, 15 años, llevan plata uh -huh. a su casa. Claro. Para poder sostener. Sí. Entonces, ¿y el Estado chileno qué hace? Nada. Nada, Ajá. nada, nada. Absolutamente nada. Okay. Son marginales, no interesan. Chao. So there you go. An explanation more in depth of what the protests are exactly about from the point of view of the protesters, of course. I mean, he's got some solid points there. I would say, as you heard me say when he was mentioning that at least people in Argentina have money to pay for their lives, saying that Argentina is a socialist system, he's obviously a socialist, this guy, this man. Uh, teachers unions are a very socialist thing. They're saying, at least in Argentina, they have money even though infl inflation is high and transport costs a lot less uh, in relative value valued in Chilean pesos the metro system of Buenos Aires for instance compared to the metro system here in Santiago I would say yeah that's not true I mean about 40% of Argentina's population lives below the UN poverty level 40% that does not sound like a population that has money to pay for their lives. But Chile has that trouble. Not so much on the inflation side of things, um, but as any country, any government around the world, they're printing money left, right and center over COVID and has risen all uh, rents and property values and values of anything that you would really want to own to 
excel your life. Meaning what he was saying, like rent is so expensive and an average salary is around 500, 600 US dollars and you pay just half of that for a decent, for a decent apartment or a house to rent here or a room to rent here. If you have a family, that's even harder. So that's some of the situation that we have here in, in Chile going on at the moment. Spanish? Danish. Dinamarca. Ah, pero habla español. Hablo español, sí. Ten cuidado con la cámara. ¿Aquí? Sí. ¿En esta zona? Sí. Ah, ok. Voy a tener. Cuidado, mucho cuidado. Vale. He's telling me to take care with the camera. In this area. He's saying that there's quite a lot of pickpocketing apparently around this area. Something that that guy was mentioning as well. That basically lots of Venezuelans have come here he's saying that's the reason I don't know why I don't know what I would say it sounds more of a reality that poverty or like not having a lot of money leaves you not a lot of options so pickpocketing becomes more widespread in such a society we will take care more people have told me this as well that around this area Around the central area, there's a lot of pickpocketing going on. We're sort of in the southern area of the center. We're headed down further south to an area called Franklin, which was actually my plan. I didn't know this protest was going on. <laughs> but cool little intro, as I say, Santiago, Chile is a country of poets, protests and politicians fighting each other, making the bed the bedrock for beautiful beautiful art beautiful music there's lots of street art around very good musicians all over chile so let's go explore towards the south of the center of santiago an area called franklin a market area let's go and see what we can find let's go explore And with that, easy as we are in Franklin area. We're in the metro system still. I read somewhere. I don't know. There's an exit over here and an exit over there. Let's just try this way. Most people are going that way. There's supposed to be a big market and commercial area, life on the streets here in this Franklin area or Franklin. I read somewhere that the metro system here in Santiago is the biggest metro system of all city in all of Latin America uh, in all of South America so that makes it helpful for us now we just skipped from the center down to the southern area of the city to this area called Franklin we're gonna go explore here before we then pop back on the metro system later on as we head further into another area of the city I don't know exactly where we're gonna go where the wind is gonna take us today but we're gonna go explore all of Santiago or as much as Santiago as we can today so yeah without further ado let's get stuck into it Franklin Santiago poets politicians and protests yeah, straight away we have Lots of people selling stuff here, some grilled meat, or oh, that's grilling now, hats and clothing in general over here. We've got a square over on this side. This seems to be the way that everybody is going. So it's probably where we have more of the market stuff. Let's go. See what we can find. Como comerciante aquí. De acá, de la ropa y todo sí. eso. Aquí todo grabando. ropa. Sí, sí, hago videos para YouTube. Allá, aquí hay mucho. Ustedes son colombianos. Tú colombiano. Yo no, venezolano. ¿no? Atlético Nacional. Sí, Atlético Nacional. Venezuela. No, no colombiano. Yo de Dinamarca. ¿Y tú? Igual de Colombia. Venezuela. Venezuela. Ah, okay. ¿Y qué tal acá? Bien. ¿Mejor? Mejor. ¿Se va mejor acá? Ahí vamos, sí, poco a poco trabajando. Aquí, venir a Europa, eso es como el negocio acá. Como el negocio acá. Vale, me gustaría conocer Venezuela. Tienes que ir para que conozcas, mi hermano, por allá. Gracias. Bueno, nos vemos. Bendiciones, hermano. Gracias. Chao, chao. So, as you can see, the market here 
is a very multicultural area and an area full of, of uh, clothing. It's all clothing stores pretty much everywhere here. All the lots of Venezuelans and Colombians, Peruvians selling their food and selling clothes that I think they've produced. Hola, como están? And selling clothes that I think they've produced in in these countries as well. Now we're getting a little bit different. Here's para cazar. Armas y pesca. Son armas reales. Así. ¿Cómo? Son de fogueo, de fogueo. Ah, no con no con balines eh, reales. Para, oh, no. no, no. Ah, ok. Para cómo, como para de casa, aire. Para casa, claro. Para Ahí cazar. Oh, okay. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Good, good. You? You. Yeah. <laughs> you good? Yo, Benito. Ah. Tú eres de Bolivia, ¿cierto? No soy de Bolivia, no. O sea, de Dinamarca. Vives allá, ¿no? Fui uh, viajando en Bolivia. ¿Esto vamos a hacer en Facebook? Uh, oh. Facebook, YouTube, todo el lado, TikTok. ¿Cuál es tu canal de YouTube? Pilgard Explorers. Pilgard Explorers. Oh, eh, sí, gusto. mira. Tengo stickers así. Este es el nombre. Muchas gracias. De nada. Ten buen día. The selling. Saludo. <laughs> So they're selling hunting weapons and all that sort of stuff. We've got sunglasses here. I'm in the hunt for, uh, what do you call them? Soles for shoes. Because my, my boots are perfect, but my sole is wearing thin or wearing on a, running on its last legs. And also, of course, always open to try some of the local Chilean food. Hola. Ay, dígame. ¿Cuánto vale un Coca-Cola? ¿Coca-Cola? ¿A cuánto vale? ¿Coca-Cola? 1500. 1500. Okay. ¿Se puede uno? Ya firmando. Sí, haciendo video, conociendo la vida acá. Ay, ay, ay. Documentando videos de viajes. ¿Tú vendes así todos los días? No. Eh, gaseosas, bebidas. ¿Quieres vender conmigo? ¿Cómo? ¿Quieres vender conmigo? <ríe> ¿Todo un día? Claro. Mañana vengo. Ya. ¿A qué hora? Pues, espérate. ¿A lata o con ropa? Para las 7. Ya, para las 7. ¿A qué hora empiezas? Ya, a las 7. ¿no? ¿Este? Sí. Vale. Ah. ¿Qué tienes? So, 1,500 for this one. That's not bad. That's 2 euros, 2 dollars, more or less. So we'll see. Get, Get some change here. <laughs> Gracias. Yeah, yeah. Ustedes son chilenos igual? Yo, yo, yo soy chileno. Hey. Chileno. Ah, ok. Porque aquí hay mucho de El todos diferentes. Nacional, todos diferentes peruana, nacionalidades. Yo peruana. Peruana. Ah, ok. Estoy yendo para Perú después de Chile. ¿Cuándo? En 12, 1 a 2 semanas. 2.500. Ahí no tengo. Ah, quédate con yeah, esto. Gracias. Está bien, está bien. Tú lo tomas. Vale. Chao. Chao, chao. mañana? ¿Cómo? ¿Va a venir mañana? ¿Mañana? ¿A qué hora? Trabajar. ¿Para trabajar? Sí. ¿A vender todo el día contigo? Obvio. ¿Cuándo vendes en un día? No sé. Tú tienes que vender. Pues yo te voy a poner ah. carrillo y tú vendes. <risa> ¿Y tú vas a descansar todo el claro, día? Claro, yo sí. Ah, sí, yo voy a vender tus bebidas. Ah, ok. Ya. A las 7 nos vemos. Ya, a las 7. Claro. So we got ourselves a little refreshment here. Now let's go and see where we can find some soles for our clothing, for my shirt, for my boots. Let's see what's in here. This seems to be all tank. Hola. I think this is all technology. They're selling here phones. I don't see anyone selling shoes. There's maybe somewhere. No. Busco zapatos. Zapatos. Plantillas para mi zapato. Plantillas. ¿Quién te vendrá plantillas? 
alguien que vende zapatos o arregle zapatos o algo así. Aquí que te arreglen no, pero sí puedes conseguir donde venden los zapatos que toda esa zona de allá. ¿Más allá? Sí, todo para allá es puro zapato. Oh, ok. Ahí me venden igual un plantillas así. Yo creo que te puedes conseguir ahí. Perfecto. Gracias. Dale, mano. Cuídate. Check that out up there behind the, the background, which we always have in the winters here in Chile, in Santiago. Beautiful snow capped mountains, snow peak mountains. If I walk over here, I think you can see it better. If I walk across the street, check that out. I don't know how well it comes across on the camera here, but it is beautiful. That's another thing. Santiago is like, well, this area here basically seems like a little pocket of, of Colombia. <laughs> a little pocket of Colombia or Peru mixed together. Lots and lots of Colombians, Venezuelans as well, their type of music, their type of reggaeton going at it and everybody being more loud than, than the average Chilean. So yeah, the mountains are another beautiful, beautiful part of what you find here in Santiago. Hola, ¿vendes platillos de zapatos? No. ¿O solo zapatos? Solo zapatos. Busco nuevos platillos para mis botas. Sí, si no, en Franklin. Ese es Franklin, Franklin ¿no? no esto, esto es placer. Ah, Río por Río Franklin. ¿Dos calles más arriba? Dos calles más arriba. Por esta calle aquí a, a claro, Franklin. ¿Está grabando? Está grabando. Sí. ¿Y qué, lo... qué estás haciendo? Videos de viajes. ¿Ya? Documentales, cómo es la vida, eh, la cultura, la comida. Obvio. Un poco de todo. Así de, de eso. Y ahorita busco así nuevos zapatillos. Dos cuadras más abajo, bro. Plantillas. Ok. Plantilla. Gracias. Que te vaya bien. Ok. So I have to turn around the corner to find what I'm looking for. I'm looking for new soles, as I said, for my, for my boots. So let's go and hunt for that. I think I see what I'm looking for here. Hola. Esas plantillas a cuánto vale? En mil, una luca y dos lucitas. Dos luca, dos luca es mil, ¿no? Mil esta. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y dos, dos, dos mil. mil. Uh -huh. ¿Tienes 43? 43. Tamaño? Ella. Ah. Así te llevo. Ese dice 42. 42. 44. Entonces sí va a haber. 43. Acá le vas a una paisana cubana. ¿Cubana? Sí. ¿Es de Cuba? Cuba. Cuba. Bastante diferente que acá, ¿no? Cuba. No, claro, que es comida y allá no. ¿Cómo? Aquí hay comida y allá no. Allá no, no, eso escucho. Allá es una tiranía lo que hay. Escucho, es como paraíso para el turista, sí. para el local. Sí, me están no. filmando. Sí. sí. No, no me filmen. Okay. No, no me filmen. ¿Dónde va para en YouTube? Sí. ¿Eh? Videos de, para YouTube. ¿Pero YouTube? No, pero no me filmen. Aquí, 43. Sí, Perfecto. No, no, me filmen. Vale, vale, vale. ¿Y de dónde tú eres? De Dinamarca. Ah, oh, Dinamarca. Dinamarca. Bueno, si me vas a poner en el, en el, en el YouTube. Ajá. Cuando me vayas a poner en YouTube, mira, ella me vendió esta plantilla para, para las zapatillas. Sí. No. Ajá. Y le sugiero que le pidan que ella las envíe por... ¿Cómo es cuando se envía para allá? ¿Cómo? Para hacer un, para que Zapatos, me hagan, eso. Para que me hagan envío, para que me hagan pedido. Ajá. Para que para ellos, pagan. Ajá. Pagan y yo les mando. Ah, exportación. Ajá, exportación. Vamos a poner un negocio de e importa y exportación. De zapatillas. ¿Esa es tu familia? Sí, mi esposa. Ah, ok. Sí, yo, no, yo soy la no, de compañera de, de trabajo. Ah, okay. cartera. Cartera, pues. Venden pues, billeteras. Billeteras, billeteras carteras, Ah, ok. Mochila. No vendes algo, mira, similar a esto. Ah, es Porque eso ya está bien. Es, pero con billetes ¿Cómo? adentro. Ajá, para aquí eso. hay espacio para poner billetes, monedas ah. y aquí sale la, la tarjeta. Qué bien. ¿Ah? Qué bien, sí, pero no lo he visto. Lo he tratado de conseguir porque me lo han pedido. Pero... Ajá. Lo más...
Lo más es esto, normal, como las normal, 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 clásica. Las clásicas con brochas. Claro, vale. Y esto que es un. ¿Qué es esto? Mira. Para perfume. No. no. Este, <risa> para la suerte. Para la suerte. Te echas allá adentro. Una ramita de canela, ¿sabe lo que es canela? Romero, claro. canela. Un pedacito de canela allá adentro. Romero, Ajá. Y la mantienes en, aquí en la... O ruda la también, le puedes colocar ruda. Y te da suerte para o que ajo. Te entre... También ajo. 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 Para que no viene para que venga la el vampiro. <risa> no, para la prosperidad, chicos. <risa> O para el spray de pimienta. También, pimienta. Ah. Bueno, aquí lo usan para el cigarro, para, ¿Para, el cigarro? para las llaves, ah, para todo, okay. para el que le guste, con lo que, que lo ponga el cigarrillo, ah, okay. monedas, el, su cuestioncito. Bueno, vale, vale. Y aquí carteras, carteras normales. Carteras así, normales. Más morir. todo para chicas. Sí, algo así, más para chicas. Sí, sí, sí. Que las chicas no somos lloronas para comprar. <risa> Les gustan comprar las sí, chicas. Sí, no completa comprar. <laughs> vale. Chao, Gracias. Chao. Nos vemos. Chao. So we did find exactly what we were looking for. New soles for my boots. Then we can walk more comfortably. All the way to the center of back towards the center of Santiago, which is where we're going to head now. Back to the back to the metro and then we're going to head towards Another area, another central area of the city. Ooh, what a change. I feel like I'm bouncing a fresh pair of boots now, just with a new pair of soles. Check out, I'm at this square here at the Franklin area. As you can see from the streets, this is more of a, like one of the hoods of Santiago. This area here. It's just a massive commercial area. You can see they're building new buildings down there as well. And not this way. People like this guy is selling things, drinks and fruits and vegetables on the streets. And we've got a whole market section and things going on as well. So that's basically what life seems to be like in this area of Santiago. Some of the streets look a bit dodgy and yeah, I can see that there are a bunch of dodgy dudes around eyeing me up every now and then so it is an area much more so than that central area where the guy told me earlier on in the video to take care with the camera much more so here is an area where crime rates are higher but I don't actually feel insecure or anything but can't debate the data the crime rates are higher here and you could see more of these people eyeing you up but this little square here is a lovely little area trees around a guy selling a guy selling avocados there all that stuff so with that said let's head over to the metro station over there jump on it and head in to another part of Santiago to see some of the contrast of the city we've now seen one of the poor areas now let's go and head to one of the more developed areas where they call it like a mini Manhattan of Santiago. Let's go! So, as you can see behind me here, we've come to another area, the western area of center of uh, Santiago. This building up here, the massive, massive, I don't know how many story building it is, it's like the hallmark of Santiago from that building if you google Santiago you will see this building with the snow-capped mountains that we were showing you before uh, that we were looking at before from the Franklin area in the background apparently you can go up it but as you see in this area it's all taller-ish buildings a few skyscrapers around this is like financial area um, basically they call it like a mini Manhattan, the San Sanhattan, if I'm not mistaken, is what they call it. So that's what we're looking at here, a completely different type of, of neighborhood, a complete different type of vibe, much more rich, I would say. We've got the transport systems over there, as you see down the main road here, the main avenue. And further down this way as well, let's go. I think we're headed, we're headed this way. In this area, there's lots of these little like check these 
apartment buildings over there. In this area, there's lots of these little stalls around selling hot dogs, just like Manhattan. So maybe we could see if we can find one of those and a beer and then what else is around here? Let's go and check it out. So, here's a monument of one of the former presidents, Jose Manuel Balmaceda. And this monument also marks a long, 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 long walk that I've been doing from that Manhattan type area further up along this, this like river thing going here with the little park all the way through. And I thought I was going to be able to find some uh, hot dogs or something what they call completos or sopaipillas, some of the the local Chilean food that I could just try a, as a snack before headed before I'm heading back home to my to my Airbnb. But that does not seem to be the case, unfortunately. Again, check out that view up there, those mountains. Always walking around Santiago, you will find that view every now and then, just peeking through. And over here, we have that big building in the middle of the leaves there that we were at the foot of earlier. So I've come from all the way over there where that building is to here now, next to another big building. But again, as I said, I think I'm gonna have to capitulate here. I am getting tired and yeah, losing hope of finding any of this hot dogs or anything like that, someone selling on the streets, any of this. So with that said, with the view to this rather murky looking river, I will end this video here, this exploration. I think we've come along a long way around Santiago today. We will pick the explorations up and I'll see you in another video from Santiago. See you when I see you.